Hello, Nuggets. So I was thinking today, I was writing, I went to the cafe, did my writing, only did about an hour, because uh, I was distracted, but then I, it was just weird today, but then I came home and wrote, so I still got my writing hours in. And I was working on the script, and I'm actually writing now, okay, so I have it all uh, beat it out, and I'm not, for, it's not, it's only first draft, so it's crappy dialogue, it's exposition, the description is no brevity whatsoever, it's so freaking long, I've got to sh- cut it down and all that, but it doesn't matter, I'm just... I'm getting through it, pacing it out, doing, building a visual representation that will probably be about 130 pages. So I'll need to cut, you know, 40 or so pages off of that, 30 or 40 pages off that. Um, but anyway, I'm in the process. And while I'm writing, I'm starting to think of lines. The movie's playing in my head. I'm like, hey, I want these good lines. And I thought to myself, I know who, there are two characters in my screenplay. One's called Ruby, one's called Ray. I know exactly what Ray looks like. And I don't know who the actor is who would play him, but I would tell the actor it's uh, Keith Richards. <laughs> that has been done before, I'm afraid. But in this context, hopefully it hasn't, right? So I know specifically what I'm looking for, but I have no idea what he's like as an actor. So it doesn't invade. It's just a visual. It doesn't invade my writing style. It doesn't invade how I p- portray the character. Right When I'm speaking in Ray's voice, it's my voice. It's not Keith Richards' voice. It's my version of the character because Keith Richards isn't an, act- isn't an actor. So I'm writing his lines. It's coming out fine. I know who he is. I start writing Ruby, and I'm like, okay, I need a- I don't know who this is yet. I've got some ideas. I've got, like, Claire Foy in my head, and but it's vaguely it. I've got the girl who did the original girl in the dragon tattoo before the one Claire Foy did. A lot of girls in dragon tattoos, I guess. But I've got all of these images in my head, and... And then it comes to me, okay, the look is actually very like Faroja Bulk, right? In, um, she did a punk movie, and she also did um, American History X. And somewhere in between those, not as aggressive looking as American History X, but that kind of rough, edgy, dark eyes, a little bit Ali Sheedy, that kind of look to her. That um, independent, fierce, strong look is what I want for the character. So then I, st- I have that image and I start writing and I realize as I'm writing, wait, am I writing this for Faroja Balk now? Is that what I'm doing? Because even though she doesn't necessarily have a... She has a very specific delivery, as you would hope all actors have, right? And she has a way of doing things. And I found myself writing Faroja Balk as I imagined her in this script, like this kind of amalgam between my character and her. And I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Just writing it specifically for someone, I guess it sounds okay. I guess it would flatter the actor if it's a good script. If it's a crap script, they wouldn't give a shit, right? But but if it's a good script, they're like, oh, you wrote this for me? That's awesome. Wow, you really hear me? Or that's whatever it is, you know? But is it good for the screenwriter? Because I felt... I'm, I'm worried I might be a little bit limited as I start getting into the story. I'm like, well, how would Ferrugia... <laughs> what would Ferrugia do with this situation? So I don't know. I mean, this is Ferrugia from this Ferrugia book from 25 years ago. It's not her now, right? So it is a little different. Although I have no idea what she's doing now, so I don't even know if she's still acting. But um, and it wasn't so much that I'm a huge admirer of her. It's more about I just wanted that aura that she had when she was younger. Right, and that energy, and actually, I do think she's a good actress, and that that energy and that intensity, very filmic quality to her. And now I'm writing this character of Ruby, and I'm like, wait, what is this? What have what have I done? Have I, am I doing the right thing or not? Again, another blog where I don't know the answer to it. Um, but I think, on the whole, it's better to have that because one of the most difficult situations to go through, I think, when you're writing characters, is to write yourself into a hole where you think you know the character, you think you really feel it, and in your heart you're just basically acting out in your head the scenes and then writing what comes out of the character's mouth, you know. Um, but there are situations where you get into where you, you just don't know how the character would respond. You just don't see it. And I think in those situations, you need the movie playing in your mind because that will help you. All of the tropes of movies, all of previous stuff you've seen, particularly of an actor or a director's work, that will help you nurture you through it. So in that respect, I think it's good that I've got her in my head, right? Um, also, I can think of worse people to have stuck in your head than Faroja Ball. But I think in that respect, it's good. I like having it there. 
but in the respect of the freedom of the writer to develop a character that isn't just written for one actor, I don't know if it's good or not. I don't know. I'm excited that I'm in a position to be thinking like that. And I think I'm going to stick with that. I'm just going to cement it in my head. So, yeah, that's who it is. It's Faroujia Ball. Write it, let's her. And if I get to a point of compromise, hopefully I can resolve that. I haven't really, it hasn't hit me yet. It's more fear of the future. And then with the character of Ray, it doesn't matter. Keith Richards, don't know what he sounds like. He sounds like what I say he sounds like, you know. I just know he doesn't sound like Johnny Depp in those ones, whatever that was. Um, pirate movies. Pirate of the Caribbean. I know he doesn't sound like that, so there you go. Um, anyway, that's the thought for the day. I wonder if it's the same for artists now that I think about it. I mean, you paint portraits, right? But also, you're interpreting those portraits. So it's not, it's your vision of what that person is. It's not that person. Hmm. I don't know. Who knows where this went? Nowhere. All right. Fuck it. That's it. We're done. Have a good day, you little nuggets. Go take the world by storm.